Good morning, long time no see. It is the 2nd of June today and it's a Sunday and I have decided today to throw myself a bit of a birthday party. Um, I am gonna be 28 on Tuesday the 4th. Just felt like having some family over, having a few friends over and just having some cake basically. So I kind of have gone a little bit over the top with decorations and things. I mean, I'm 28, I don't really need decorations. It's seven o'clock. Reaper actually slept all the way through till half six last night. Um, at the half term feed, he only had two ounces and then he slept until half six. So I am amazed. He has been doing better, like he's been doing so well with his sleep, but it's kind of been about half past five i've had to go in and like pop the dummy back in or offer him some milk but he's just been every night it just goes on a little bit longer so maybe tomorrow it'll be 6 45. when your baby starts sleeping through you're always guilty of or like when they're sleeping better you're always guilty of thinking what on earth did i do the day before we need to do the exact same thing obviously that never happens because days are never the same and babies are never the same day to day either um and what with like teething and colds and everything like that so Anyway, first things first this morning, I need to have my breakfast and I just need to crack on with like normal party stuff. So last night I got out all of the stuff um, that we're going to pop the food in, which I'll show you now. And I'll just show you the stage that we're at now. Um, and I also got some new house plants yesterday, so I thought I would show you those too. So the first one is actually currently living in the hallway. I don't know if it'll stay there. Um, I'll just squeeze past this. We've got a, a hallway full of parcels um, and we have been cleaning the floors. Um, so that needs to go in the garage, the mop bucket. But... I just thought this was so interesting. I've never seen a plant like this before. I also filled this pot because it was empty with this little um, succulent, I guess. And it's got a little baby growing. And then my favorite so far, my absolute favorite is this one. I love the pot that it's in um, and I love the plant too. So um, I hadn't actually bought it to go there. I was gonna put it in a bathroom, but then I thought, it's really, really nice. Why would I put it somewhere that not a lot of people are going to see it? So I plunked it right where people walk in. These are the plates and um, straws and napkins and things. So I've used these before. They're my like favourite little plates. I did think that they were a little bit bigger than this, um, but I've obviously ordered the smaller size, but they'll be fine for little cakes and things. Um, and then I've bought some to toadstool plates. Um, these kind of like iridescent paper straws. And then I have some daisy plates and then some leaf napkins, which I'm very excited about. I'm not quite sure how I'll style these yet. A lot of, I've seen them that a lot of people have them like that. So it looks like the part of the plate. But I think I might just have them separately. Very noisy baby. Noisy baby making all your noises. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Look how much he's grown. On the 13th of June, he will be eight months. Yeah. In here, I've got all of the kind of like plates and bowls and things that food is going to go in. And I've even gone as far. This last night, Tom was out watching the football. It's the Liverpool final. And um, I was going to do all this today, but I just thought I might as well save a bit of time. So I've written out what everything, what's to go in everything. Um, so that'll save time later because I always find myself scrambling around at the last minute. I got the champagne glasses out last night, washed them, ready to put on the side. Um, I've got a few bits of food here. Um, I'm going to put these sea salt and pepper twists in these jars. And then this is cake and stuff for puddings. I've got lists galore of like what I still need from the shop and um, what like a schedule and stuff. I think I'm going to put the straws in this milk bottle. Um, I've got this jug out for the cream and then I'm going to do, I normally do kind of some kind of like sweet table. Um, I've got some bags left from his baby shower, which is very, very strange. Um, but I just bought like a few bits and pieces. Normally I go to like macro and buy loads, but I've got a baby now. So um, people have to make do with squashies and jelly tarts. So I popped on this moisturiser after I'd like washed my face and popped my serums on and stuff in the bathroom. This is my favourite moisturiser for the daytime, especially underneath makeup. And then I popped on some of this 
after I did my eyes, but I thought I'd just show you now. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. On my eyes, I've got this eyeshadow, which is MAC Woodwinked, and it's just in like a little individual carton because I've not done anything else with it yet. Um, and then I popped a little bit of Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie in the crease, which is this one. And just kind of help to blend it out a little bit on my face i've mixed the it cosmetics cc cream and also the giorgio armani luminous silk and that combination was actually what i wore when i went into labor which it seems to be my favorite combination um and it lasted very well i have to say um i'm not going to do this in order now i'm just going to show you the products as i find them um i've got on the tarte shape tape concealer i've not used that in ages i use a little bit of the kevin aquan sculpting powder i have had this for so long i've used it quite a lot and i've still got like it doesn't even look like i've touched it it's ridiculous and um, just i just thought it would help give me a little bit of shape to my face and um, i used the tarte blusher in the shade captivating which i don't know if i'm going to be able to open all these and show you i've done that quite well actually and um, which looks like that it's quite a peachy color um powder i use the hourglass ambient lighting powders i've bought another one of these in dim light but at the moment i'm still going through this trio one at the end is a little bit dark for me so i'm kind of going through this one this was my favorite one and i don't think they sell the middle one on its own which is a shame um bronzer i have on the becca capri coast sunlit bronzer which I really like the hourglass one but this one is also really lovely and it's got a nice shimmer to it i really really like this and um, i always find that if you spend a little bit more on products that you wouldn't necessarily normally do and then you really like them it's like the best feeling in the world um, otherwise you feel like you waste a lot of money um lankin montreal big mascara as always and then i use the benefit brow pencil this is the precisely my brow and i use some of the this is all the people people I'm sorry. Um, Glossier Boy Brow in the brown colour. I used some of the NARS eyeshadow primer on my eyelid. I've just popped on really quickly the Charlotte Tilbury pencil in Iconic Nude on my lips. And then for highlight, I used this corner shade here from this Hourglass palette, which I think was limited edition. I will say, I feel like it was quite... You can see it's gone into the pink um, blush next to it. It wasn't very finely... Kind of like milled it was a bit chunky um but i've got that on nevertheless or nonetheless um and i think that's it this is the dress that i'm going to be putting on later um but i'm going to do the rest of my jobs in this very fetching dressing gown um does anyone else that wears glasses have the same issue i've not got the screen up so i don't know if you can see me or not but does anyone else have the same issue where um you get where you get ready for the day and you need to put your glasses on because you need to see but then you get glasses marks and you've got to redo your foundation on your nose all the time it looks amazing oh my goodness it looks amazing it is a victoria sponge um and then it's just got buttercream and then obviously all of this fresh fruit on the top it just looks incredible i'm very excited about it So Rupert's asleep in there. So I'm going to do a really quick and quiet outfit of the day. This dress is from Primark. Um, so excuse the pillow that keeps the door shut if we want it shut. Um, but it's the first time I've worn it. I bought it a couple of months ago. Well, I'm really, I feel kind of confident in it. And I like how it fits. Um, and it's got like a bit of a tear at the bottom. It adds a little bit of something, something. I'm not going to put shoes on because I'm at home. So it just seems pointless. And then on my lips over the top of what? Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. I have popped on the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector in the shade 7, 07. I think this is Rosewood. It's one of my favourites. It's just kind of, it doesn't add much colour, it's just a bit of gloss, um, but it tastes really nice. It's not too sticky. So I'm going to go down. I've popped on some Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay. Um, I'm going to spritz on a little bit more now that I'm dressed. I'm going to go down and prep all the rest of like the fruit and then the stuff that needs to go in the oven, like the last things that need doing before people start to arrive. Um, it's just a really small thing. I just really fancy doing something um, and like I feel so much better just for kind of putting on a nice dress and spending time doing my makeup and stuff. So hopefully we'll have quite a nice afternoon and Rupert's gone to sleep now and he normally has a good couple of hours in the middle of the day. So 
he's gone to sleep at one people are arriving at two and then I'll probably he'll probably wake up between three and half past so um people will get to see him and spend time with him as well so that should be nice um yeah I'm gonna stop waffling and go and sort the kitchen out <laughs> sister left here um but everyone else has gone and the house is back to normal yeah, i had a really nice day i'm glad that i did it and that went to the effort to ask people over and so i think it's very easy especially when you've got a baby and you know nap time things like that just to be like oh no we'll, we won't do anything or we'll stay in or we'll nip out for a bit but i'm glad that we had people over it was really lovely i'm gonna leave you here for tonight i'm gonna film the next couple of days and make this into a bit of a vlog i've not done it in a while the dogs are like sniffing around for scraps of food they've been so good but they've basically been in the garden or in their room all day and um, they had a good run around with all the kids but um we i just when we've got a house full i just don't think it's fair on them they get very overwhelmed and also i don't think it's around people that don't really particularly like dogs to have them jumping up and stuff so anyway i'm gonna go and sort this out put my pajamas on good morning it is monday it is five to seven do not be fooled my child woke up at 10 to 6 this morning. I really do find that if he goes to bed like later than he should, it's like last night he was in bed by 10 to 7, but he was definitely ready to be in bed by half 6. He was really tired. And then he just wakes up early the next day if he goes to bed, like if he's super, super tired. But obviously, yesterday was a bit of a one off because we had like so many people here. So before he went to bed, he had like 10 cuddles with different people. Um, so as far as like out of routine goes um half an hour 40 minutes earlier than he would usually wake up he usually wakes up between half six and seven this morning when i looked at the clock and it was 10 to six because i know that at that time i've got no chance of getting back to sleep that that's just the time he's awake for the day um but he's pretty happy are you pretty happy you have everyone in there we've got hey doggy on I am just about to make him some banana pancakes yesterday it was so nice to actually just put makeup on and get dressed properly i think i might do the same today obviously not as much makeup the boys this morning are going to tumble tots and that is a kind of like active play for babies and like all ages up to like seven i think but obviously he's only in the baby class um and there's stuff for them to like roll over so they can practice like get stronger at crawling um and it like kind of like helps with them knowing what to do when it comes to calling if that makes sense there's all sorts of activities i posted on my instagram when we first went he's only been once um but it's just started up again after half term and then after that we're going to pop over the road it's a really nice kind of like bar that does really good breakfast so i'm meeting one of my sisters i'm picking her up taking one of my sisters meeting them and then me and my sister are going to go and nip to primark this afternoon because she lives in manchester and the primark in manchester is so big um that it's just yeah, it's just i don't know it's really hard to look around i think whereas the one in blackpool which is our local one um is a really nice size and they have some really good things in there so um that is what the plan is there's just cake everywhere everywhere didn't film anything in town because it was so busy um primark was strange i bought a dress in a 10 and a dress in a 14 the sizes are still all completely off bought some baby milk and some shower gel in boots and i bought some pairs of knickers from marks and spencers they're the flexi fit ones i think that's what they're called they are the comfiest knickers ever that you'll ever ever need so i'm gonna go and get these changed and i'm getting my brows done today and i thought someone was walking past and my toes done so i'm gonna go and get that done um and then heading home for the evening with tommy and rupert and one of my other sisters is coming around tonight my eyebrows are rather red <laughs> um but 
they look so much better and fresher it's they always look worse and i've got foundation on because you can really tell the color difference when it's just my normal skin it's not bad and i really wanted to go to aldi to get rupert some um fruit I don't want to look a bit crazy and then these are my nails like pink with a little bit of a pinky glitter i really like those okay best head home so it's a bit later it's like half eight tommy's just gone out to get a kfc um it's my birthday tomorrow i'm just having a little mini fillet burger um i really like those i thought i'd just bring you upstairs and show you what i'm using at the moment to take my makeup off and like my kind of like quick nighttime routine i was meant to come up like 10 minutes ago and do this but when he left even longer than that but I just, you know when you're on Instagram and then you just get lost on Instagram. I'm going to just quickly take everything off with Garnier micellar water, micellar water. Never know how you say it. Then I'm going to wash my face with the Soap and Glory Ulti Melt Cleanser. I really like this. It breaks down makeup really nicely and doesn't feel greasy or anything. Then I will, sometimes I'll probably second cleanse with that cleanser as well with the Ulti Melt, like do two goes of it. Um, sometimes I use the Sarah Chapman cleanser, but... I don't, I don't know, this got raved about what, ages ago and um, this is what everyone used to talk about, the Rapid Radiance Cleanse and it's not my favourite thing in the world. So I normally do two cleanses. Then for toner at the moment I'm using the Lancome toner. It looks like this, it's in French and I did French A level, I, didn't, I failed. Um, so we're not going to go there. Then for eye cream I've been using the Essay Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream, which I really like, but next time I need to get it in a pump because I always end up with it all under my nails. Then I usually spritz some kind of spray on my face. At the moment I've got the Pixi Rose Glow Mist. Um, it's all right, it just adds a bit of moisture back in. I'm going to swap arms because my arm is aching. It's used to carrying a very big baby around all day. So I got all of these um, little products from Drunk Elephant when we were in London for the marathon to try them out and the Jelly Cleanser the jelly cleanser even is probably the only one that I don't really like. It doesn't really do much um, and I think for the price of it I'd rather use the Soap and Glory Ultra Melt or something like that. Um, I love the moisturiser and literally everything else. This is incredible as well. This is like a, um, a balm cleanser I really like and it comes with a magnetic little spatula so wherever you put it back on the lid it goes on. It's amazing packaging. That's all from Elephant. Their serums are incredible and um, their oils. I love them. Um, so I've been using that toner and then putting the spray mist on. And then I will go in with a serum and an oil usually or a serum and a moisturiser. So this moisturiser from uh, Drunk Elephant is gorgeous. Tonight I'll probably use a some kind of glycolic. Um, so I'll go in with this night serum. So use like an acid if I've not used my acid toner which is Alpha H that I love. And then at the moment I'm enjoying using the Midnight Recovery again from Kiehl's. So I'll probably go in with this. The Marula oil from Drunk Elephant is really nice too. So sometimes I combine these. I just do a bit of a mix, but yeah, I just thought I'd have a, apparently a little impromptu skincare chat there. So I'm gonna wash my face and get myself all nice and clean and fresh and then go and eat a greasy KFC basically. Um, but I will see you all in the morning when I'm gonna be, well, it's not an entire year older because it's been coming all year, isn't it? But I'll be a day older, but a year older from my last birthday. You haven't got this in bed, Rupert. <laughs> Is that nice? really nice? <laughs> it's like a cool carpet. It's my birthday today, and I always feel like it never really feels like your birthday when it's your birthday. Is that a strange thing to say? I don't know. Um, but we've been up this morning, we've had breakfast in bed, I've opened some really lovely presents, and we are just literally rushing out the door to head to the Trafford Centre. It's meant to rain everywhere in the north today, so we are heading there because it's covered. We're going to go for some lunch, maybe have a little look around some shops, and then head back, kind of try and schedule it around me if it's nap times, which is why we're rushing now. Um, but I'm gonna love you and leave you so we can get going and I'll see what I can film here and there today.
it's just gone Rupert's tea time. He's having a bit of an early tea tonight because he has been awake since half past two. It's now five o'clock usually. His last nap finishes at like three, half three, and then he makes it to half six, seven bedtime. Somebody's got hiccups. Hiccups. Somebody's got the hiccups. <laughs> you are so gorgeous. I just realized I'm not really filmed with him today. Um, but he is here. He's been a little bit grouchy. I think he's teething pretty badly at the moment and he's just all up and down. So hence the short naps. And obviously we were out and about, which makes it a bit more difficult, but it's usually guaranteed that he sleeps in the car and he had like half an hour um, on the way home. So that wasn't great. Um, but we had a good shop. Rupert got quite a few new bits. He needed some sleeping bags in the next size up because he's at the end of the ones that he's currently got. Um, and Tommy got some new clothes as well, like more summer clothes because he's completely changed sizes since last summer um, and like shape and stuff like that. So none of his clothes fit. So that was good because I've been ordering stuff online, but it's such a pain when you, it comes and you have to send everything back. And we didn't really know what size to get, did we? Did we pudding? We tried to have a nap and Rupert failed. Um, they were doing work at the back again. And um, this was when we got back about three o'clock and I was gonna let him have like three till four. Tommy had about half an hour and I just led there watching this one not nap. Um, hence why I'm like a bit frazzled and um, my makeup's come off my chin and I'm in my dressing gown. I'm gonna go and have a shower before. We've got um, some of Tom's family coming around for a Chinese tonight. So, um, cause some of them couldn't make it on Sunday. So I'm gonna go and have a shower and get in my cozies before they all arrive. And we start the bedtime routine with this one. Um, who's covering bits of banana from his tea. He had French toast tonight with a bit of banana. It is Wednesday today and I realised that I didn't actually finish my vlog yesterday. Um, I just kind of disappeared from the face of the earth. Last night we had the Chinese. I had quite a large glass of wine um, and then that was it. Um, <laughs> I just forgot that I was vlogging basically and we didn't go to bed till like midnight. Everyone left at like half nine but for some reason we just were dilly dallying around you just scroll don't you that's the problem um and um yeah and then i couldn't get to sleep till like half one so this morning tommy's just got up with rupert um well he got up with him at six it's now half seven um and i've just had a quick shower i stayed in bed for a little bit longer um i've just had a quick shower and popped my hair up um, I didn't want you all getting used to the whole makeup and like hairstyling thing because let's face it, this is how I look five days out of seven, maybe more. Um, but we are off to baby massage this morning. Now, Tom, uh, Rupert and I did a baby, no we're not. We did a baby massage class and um, it was like a six week course. Um, and like the follow on from that is baby yoga. I didn't know whether he was too old, but everyone assures me that he'll still really enjoy it. And it's a bit more like a rolling around, kind of like fun class, but we struggled with baby massage towards the end, to be honest, because everyone everyone else's babies were just led there happy as Larry. And Rupert was just rolling everywhere, wanted to play with everything and got quite fed up. Um, so hopefully this will be nice. And I've made quite a few friends there as well. So really I'm going for the social aspect more than anything. It's only 45 minutes. So, um, but it's a bit of a drive. It's about half an hour to get there. So he naps usually on the way there in the morning. So I'm going to go down, have a quick, some, have some quick breakfast, um, get him dressed and then head out the door. We are home from baby massage. I had so much fun, baby yoga, not massage. He just did loads of exercises and because he's like the oldest in the class, um, he's already kind of like on the move and stuff, but she kind of adapts it so that it's appropriate for him too. So he did some um, like prep, like um, supported crawling where I put my hands on the bottom of his feet and he like pushed off and then he was off um, trying to get different toys and stuff. But we're home now, he fell asleep in the car, he's had a little nap. I've just made him this little bowl of pesto pasta, um, which he's never had before. He's had pasta before, but never any pesto. So I'm gonna try him with this. Mizzle, 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 is 
he drifted off after about 15 minutes and then he woke up crying and I realised that the guys that are doing the work at the um it's the same people that did our garden that are doing our, one of our neighbours gardens had their music on so loud and I text Tommy in the end and I was like please please could you text the guy and just apologise but just ask him to turn the music down a little bit because that was what was waking him up like the bass was so loud and then he fell back to sleep on me like cuddling him which he hadn't done in ages because that was really lovely but then it was kind of a thing of right now I need to put you down because I could be trapped here for potentially two hours so um I pop pops him down and he's been asleep since so I made myself I've got loads of stuff to do like I said before I've got washing to do and tidying up and everything but I thought if I don't eat now while he's asleep then I'm not going to have any lunch because I don't really like doing stuff like that when he's down here because I feel like I should be playing with him and you know so I've had some lunch then I started watching um happy mum happy baby podcasts on youtube caroline hirons one has just come out and she's amazing so i've been enjoying that I have got one grouchy baby who is on the move. <laughs> He's doing so well, we're nearly crawling. Aren't you? But you are very grumpy. Hey? You are very grumpy. He had my phone and I took it off him. It, it was next to me and he reached for it and he grabbed it. So I just took it off him and like swapped it for these eggs and we just nearly had a meltdown, didn't we? Hey? He seems to have forgotten about it now. We just had some tea, so it's little toes. And we're now just having a cuddle and a play, watching some pepper in the background. Hey, he really likes this. It was about seven pound off Amazon, and the things just pop up, which he's not really, he can't really do himself yet, but he likes messing with them and trying to get them to close. And making him panic that he's gonna chop his fingers. Tumbly booze. Can we go with you? It is 10 to 10. So Tommy's shift now, he's usually out from like one till half 10 um, at the back end of the week. Um, oh, well, the lighting's a bit funky in here, isn't it? Um, and I've just had a bit of a, I haven't really shown it and I feel like, I don't know, I just got a bit emotional before. You know, you just have those days. Um, it's not even that time of the month. <laughs> um, but I just, you know when just like certain things happen and it just makes you think of other things and you just end up in a bit of a spiral and you just kind of wallow a little bit and you get a little bit sad well i rang tom's mum and i was told her i was a bit upset and um she bless her said oh i'll come around for tea and i'll make you tea and uh, we'll watch our favorite program we've been watching portrait artists of the year which oh god the light is worse in here let's go back to the kitchen we have been watching portrait artists of the year which when she first told me about it i was like mm, not really my kind of thing and i just got hooked and i've loved it so it's been a kind of thing for the last however long it's been on for that she's come around like once a week and we've watched an episode and um, so that was just really nice we just had a really good chat and catch up and put the world to right sometimes you just need that don't you all i was missing was a glass of wine um but yeah it was i'm not even a drinker i don't drink alcohol but i find myself saying that more and more often these days um but anyway, I um, 
I'm going to show you a few things that we bought at the Trafford Centre yesterday and then I'm going to end this vlog here. Tomorrow, my sister's coming around that's going to come today. And um, I think I'm going to get up with Tom, uh, with Rupert and let Tommy have a bit of a lie-in tomorrow. And um, I don't have any mint stalls and I'd really like some mint stalls. So all I've got on my to-do list tomorrow is to go and buy some mint stalls. So we'll probably nip to some supermarket because that's a bit of a day out, isn't it? If you don't see that going to the supermarket is a bit of a day out, then... I just, you're living your life wrong, let me tell you. Obviously very much joking there. Um, but yes, I am going to show you some things I bought. And also I just wanted to say that, wanted to say that I feel like sometimes things that I post on my Instagram and things that I upload to here, I'm not really, I am my true self, but I feel like I'm more funny in real life. And I feel like I hold back sometimes on social media and stuff because I'm always worried of saying the wrong thing or being sarcastic and people not knowing that I'm joking like when I just said that then and I just think I just need to be a bit more chilled about it to be honest. Thomas while we were at Travis Centre yesterday said that he wanted to find some nursery rhyme books for Rupert. There's a dog down there eating biscuits. There's another one over here scratching herself and then Jasper as usual is just led there so I apologise for any background noise. Um, and as I was com we were coming out John Lewis I'd nipped to the loo. I saw these, it was a pack of two for £12 they were on offer and um, they might have been 13 pounds, but they were on offer. And um, it's a book of nursery rhymes and a book of animal rhymes. And they are illustrated by the guy, I think it's the guy that illustrated the Gruffalo. And um, they just were really nice nursery rhyme book books. We went into Waterstones and I just didn't like any of the illustrations, but in here I just thought they were quite nice. Um, and then we got some bits. This is a travel cot from, my, uh, from Aldi that I got, it should have been 35 and I got it for 30. Um, we are going to Devon in a couple of weeks, which I really need to actually plan and start making lists for. And we're gonna need a travel cot for at least one of the places we're staying. We're staying in two and I don't think there's a travel cot in one of them. So from John Lewis, we also bought this bath mat. You know, the non-slip um, mats that go in the, uh, the bottom of the bath. He is now getting too big for his seat that we have in the bath for him. And he can sit up now quite comfortably but he slips in the bath because obviously it's slippy. So we got this to see how he gets on with that. Um, he's, he's really happy lying down in the bath and having a quick bath like that. But um, I worry sometimes that doing that too often is gonna cause issues with his ears. So um, I got that just to see, because eventually it's obviously gonna be set up in the bath. And then we got him some more sleeping bags. Some of the, the John Lewis ones are some of my favorites. And these are in 18 to 36 months, a one tog, because obviously it's quite warm. Um, and yeah, I'd rather, um, yeah, so this is a set of two for, I think they were £42, uh, whereas two from the Grow Company, Grow Bag Company, are 57 So you get one with elephants on and then the other one is just playing away with stars. The dogs really want to make themselves heard tonight, don't they? Um, Thomas got a load of clothes, which I don't know if any of you will be even interested in seeing. I got Rupert a couple of these vests, um, they are short sleeved bodies from H&M. There's those and then there's the, my favorite colors that they do where they're like those light beiges and creams that go with like nice light colored outfits. Tommy got some more swimming shorts. We also got these for Rupert from John Lewis because some of his bare bibs are just a little bit tatty looking now. Um, so these were three pound for 10, which are quite pricey, but they last really well and they're quite big as well, which, is nice um because he's not a tiny baby anymore um thomas got some like yellowy short stripy t-shirt and um, the same shorts in brown and in navy and then equally tommy got like loads of different color t-shirts from h uh, from zara even um, and i just got a cupcake so i just like to show you those the few bits and pieces um that i got that we got for rupert and one thing that i will mention that I got for my birthday i actually cried when i opened um, I think he might be waking up. He didn't have a lot of milk before bed, so I don't expect him to go as long as usual because he literally, he had, oh, I don't think I told you this, but he had an ounce before bed and then he was sick everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Um, but yeah, one birthday present I will show you that I'm going to treasure because it's something that I just associate with my childhood and my nana and um, I don't know, she was just always using this. And I mentioned to Tom's mum, a few months ago that I would really really like my own and that I didn't know how to get one and I just really want one and she got me one for my birthday and I wasn't expecting it 
and I cried and Tom's sisters were here and they were like, are we missing something? Why is she crying over this? This is ridiculous. And I think Tom's mum got it. Um, she understood why, but I'm just, I'm just a bit of a mess really, aren't I? But it's a Biro book. Um, so it's, I, if you're not familiar with these, they're just, I think that they started off, you would get them with something like, you know, like when you can collect vouchers in the back of, um, cereal boxes and stuff and like my nana just always had one she was always using it to bake with and they're just really traditional recipes really easy to follow like small images small recipes on each page and it's just like a classic thing and it was just so thoughtful and something that I've wanted for so long and never would have imagined that I'd ever have one and I know I sound like a crazy person and I've probably definitely reached that age now that I'm crying over recipe books but if you grew up with these or in a household where this was like around hopefully you'll know where i'm coming from anyway i hope you've enjoyed this i feel like i always say in every vlog i've not vlogged in so long i'm just getting used to it again i hope this is okay but that still stands um i haven't done it in a while i do feel a bit rusty a bit ropey um but i hope you've enjoyed seeing like this little snippet of the last few days and above all else i really like having these to watch back and I feel like I've not vlogged in so many weeks that there's probably so much of Rupert that I haven't captured on camera. And obviously I've been here in real life and I've got lots of pictures and stuff, but I do want more video of him. Um, even if I don't necessarily upload everything that I, that I take, I just think that he changes so quickly. So I'm gonna get tidy up this kitchen, sort out his bottles, grab a drink and go and get into bed and read. Um, I've just finished Still Me by Jojo Moyes and I'm now reading Eleanor Oliphant, which I started when I was pregnant and I still haven't finished. Um, I mentioned on Instagram a while ago that baking and reading are two things that I really enjoy. I'm not very good at baking, but I really enjoy it. And when we first had Rupert, I just thought I'm never ever gonna get a chance to do either of these things ever again. How, do, and how does anybody ever do this with a baby? And baking I did after just a few months with him and reading I started a couple of weeks ago and I've loved it. Now that he's going to bed at like a more normal time, like seven o'clock every night, he's asleep. Um, unless obviously he's teething or poorly, but that tends to be his pattern. And I've been reading in nap times. If I've done like loads of jobs and I get half an hour, I'll just read for a bit. And I've just been really enjoying it. So if you are a new mom and you've got a tiny baby and you're missing reading and you never think you're ever going to pick a book up again, I promise to you that you will. Um, because I have and I never thought it would happen. So on that note, I'm going to love you all and leave you. I will see you all in my next video, as always. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.